so we are eager to talk with you about anything that is important to you it is our powerful desire that in these hours that we are together you come to recognize that you stand in what we want to call your point of attraction it's this vibrational emotional mood atmosphere it's what's going on with you and if we can convince you that through life that you have created you have a magnificent vibrational reality that has the potential of fully manifesting all the dollars you want all the relationships you want all of the material objects that you want all of the conditions and circumstances and events and lifestyle all of the lovely things that you want that life has shown you that you would feel better in the having of all of those magnificent manifestations can flow easily into your realization when you contour your mood or atmosphere in a way that does not oppose it in other words you can't want something that you doubt you can't believe that you can't have something that you want and have it so we'll be talking about that we'll show you how to get to that place it's so much easier than you have ever believed it to be this business of creating your own vibrational atmosphere is so much fun because with a little bit of attention to it you can do a big shifting in your point of attraction and when you do a shift even a slight shift in what you are outputting vibrationally the differences in what comes back to you is amazing we want you to live happily ever after we want you to understand that there is a path that you have set into motion and that you are continuing to set into motion and that when you figure out how to feel the vibe of your path and you work consistently by focusing to be on that vibrational frequency that the manifestational evidence will help you to know that you are right on your path being the deliberate creator of your own reality does not mean looking for the path it means creating an atmosphere that allows you to see the path right beneath your feet do you believe that do you believe that source is at your back do you believe that the well-being is really yours to be lived if you don't it's only because you've been depriving yourself of it and you're letting the now reality contour your beliefs we want you to believe in the laws of the universe as we know them to be we want you to believe in your emotional guidance system as you feel it all day every day we want you to practice thinking and feeling on purpose until you can show yourself that you can feel outside of the conditions that was one of the things that Esther enjoyed most about last evening's escapade it was more funny to her than anything else it wasn't the end of the world it wasn't upheaval it wasn't anything to condemn or blame it was only a problem that required a solution and that is the zest of life you know that's at the heart of becoming very often your own source will lead you to a realization of a problem because it is on the path toward the solution if you don't bring a problem into focus you sure are not going to bring a solution into focus and without the two of them you will not have expansion so it's time to make peace with the contrast in general terms and to accept that all really is well with you stop beating up on yourself I'm going to show you how to feel about you the way we feel about you and when you start feeling about you the way we feel about you oh the avalanche of stuff that's in your vortex will begin flowing into your experience in such a profound and magnificent way that you may very well say stop the goodness I can't take anymore <laughs> now nah, you're gluttons you'll like it all so what do you want to talk about some things it's going to be a good day it's going to be a really good day just try a little bit to realize the perfection of your path rather than it's a step backward or it's not moving as fast as I want or it doesn't have these details instead I'm right where I want to be the timing is perfect the timing is perfect isn't that perfect timing bridge falls truck supports it long enough nobody gets hurt perfect timing things of this physical world are dissolving they are evolving but timing you have the option of what you call perfect timing timing synchronization rendezvous hear the harmony of those words 
So the first harmony or rendezvous that you're seeking is that of source. Hmm. Timing sometimes could be a condition. In other words, I need something to happen in such and such a time. You can turn timing into a condition that will bite you in the foot. <laughs> Let us just give you these words. It'll help it. I want to realize my path rather than go find my path. My path is coming to me and I'm preparing myself for the realization that it's there. Big difference. It's a big difference. My path is coming to me. Am I realizing it? Have I created the mood or atmosphere that allows me to see it? And once you get on that trail, once that starts happening, it feels like there's the path and there's the path and there's the path. That's that feeling of momentum that you get. There's the path and there's the path and there's the path and there's the path and there's the path. And, the path. and what Esther began to notice is not only is she now able to feel that's a piece of the path and that's a piece of the path and that's a piece of the path, but whoops, I just stepped off the path. Mm. Whereas you can feel when you're on the path and you can feel when you're not, but it's just through that. That comparative feeling it's not that anything ever is awful it's just that some things are more on the path than others Ooh, some things are more on the path than others things that make you feel really wonderful are more on the path than things that make you not feel wonderful but things that make you not feel wonderful are not off the path it's just the things that really really feel good are more on the path you see when Kate was little Esther and Jerry played a game with her. Kate was really little. And the game was Kate would hide something in this big room. And then they would play hot and cold to find it. And she would say, you're getting warmer when they were getting closer to it. And you're getting colder when they would get further away from it. Jerry used to deliberately do the opposite, just to play with her. And she would say, colder, 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 colder colder it's colder Jerry you're getting colder which means go the opposite way of where you're going <laughs> and if they would listen since she knew where it was if they would let her guide them with warmer colder warmer colder warmer colder they found it every single time and that's how it is with your inner being your inner being knows where it is but your inner being not only knows where it is your inner being knows which path has the probability of satisfying the most things that are in your vortex sometimes the most direct route is what you think you want sometimes the most beautiful route is what you want sometimes the route that meanders you in a place that you've never been is the route that you want but your inner being always knows what you want and what the priorities in that vortex are and is always guiding you to your greatest satisfaction every step of the way. You just got to practice this a little bit so that you can feel the vibe of the trail. By holding steady the vibration of where you want to be so that when you step away from it, you feel colder and when you step toward it, you feel warmer. By not moving around. When Jerry and Esther first met us, there was a couple that knew about Abraham the only people that Esther allowed Jerry to tell <laughs> about her weirdness <laughs> they were living in Phoenix and so one night Esther got an idea you guys go hide somewhere in the area and it's a 50 mile this way and 50 mile this way area go hide somewhere we'll get Abraham to find you <laughs> and these are the rules we won't quit till we find you Nobody goes home till we find you, no matter how long it takes. <laughs> that was the deal. So, Wes and Nancy hid. And Jerry and Esther, with Abraham, are on the case. Now, Esther was not receiving fluidly like this. She was still just kind of grunting and pointing. Uh, 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 uh. <laughs> They'd come to an intersection, and Esther would say, that way. And sometimes she'd say, it's clearly not that way, so go that way. And so they filled the car up with fuel twice that night. <laughs> Ate many Snicker bars. <laughs> and finally found them. And by the time they found them, Esther was so mad <laughs> at us and at the whole game. She said, we are never, ever, 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 ever going to play this game again. And then Esther said, first, we went to the dumpster behind Mountain Shadows Hotel. And they said, yeah, we were there. <laughs> and then they said, and then we went over 
behind the Regency Hotel on Scottsdale Boulevard. Yeah, we were there. And then we went over to Benihana's over on Scottsdale Boulevard. Yeah, we were there. Our inner being told us to move. <laughs> so, what we're getting at is... You've launched these rockets. There is a trajectory in place before you even got into this physical body. And you've been contributing to it every day since. And there is a magnificent probability there for you. And as you chill out, as you beat up on yourself less, as you appreciate yourself more, as you reach for these emotional feelings, as you allow your vibrations to go from general to more specific without wobble, as you feel your way to this, as you start enjoying clarity and harmony and humor and fun and playfulness and all of those things that come from alignment to the degree that you consciously now choose that for yourself first and foremost at all times then all of the details that you have been putting into your vortex over a great amount of time will begin to dovetail together in this synchronistic beautiful unfolding that will leave you feeling sure and blessed and eager for more there isn't anything that you need to get done it's just that you want to live life in a joyful way and when time is passing and you're not joyful then something's really out of whack with that because there's no place that you're gonna get to that's gonna be any better you cannot follow an unpleasant path and end up at a destination where you want to be and so we want the destination of where you want to be wherever feels good from where you are right now because that's all you can do feel how this all fits you've been listening to us for a while you have haven't you you've been with us through the law of attraction series <laughs> did you go upstream and downstream with us we're on the high flying disc with us did you get in the vortex with us and now we're asking you to create an atmosphere so that you can turn your thoughts to things in other words you've been listening to us for a while and everything that we've been talking about from the beginning of our first interaction with you is to help you to understand that you are pure positive energy looking for a place to be glad that's who you are you're just looking for a place to have a wonderful experience now and if you're having less than a wonderful experience something's out of whack and it's not us because <laughs> we're having a wonderful experience we're having a wonderful experience and if you're not it's because you're doing something different than we're doing you're thinking differently about it you see you've got this figured out just be playful about it and take score less of the time let the score that you take if you must take score be how fun is this Esther says to us every day that her favorite feeling is clarity and then she'll say or fun <laughs> I want to feel clear but I like to have fun and then she'll say fun is my favorite thing I love being playful or clear I love to be clear and playful I love to have fun I love the feeling of clarity and I love the feeling of fun and I love the feeling of new I love the feeling of new I love the feeling of new which doesn't feel clarity in the beginning but it is fun I love the feeling of fun that then turns to clarity Ooh, I love fun and clarity I just love fun and clarity so much and new I love the new so much I love the new so much but I love clarity so much I love clarity and fun and new so much and we say you're on the same vibration that we are new exposure new experience new life new opportunities you don't want sameness you want newness you really do but in newness often there is insecurity you don't want insecurity you want security but sometimes the feeling of newness makes you feel insecure and then the insecurity becomes the dominant vibration within you so you don't reach for newness and then you get bored and then you get going on that cycle you see where if we could convince you and we believe we nearly have that you have control over the way you feel that if you will take a notebook and just simply write these emotional words and stay focused on them long enough that you actually feel movement within your vibrational center you will push the reset button you will change your point of attraction you will change your relationship with everything and everyone